Adonis wakes up to sunrise and starts his day whilst Jeffrey stays in bed. Adonis breezes through his morning routine. He jumps into the icy lake. He meditates and he explores in nature. He picks out his favorite leaf. Jeffrey's still in bed. It's time to train. Adonis pumps iron. He looks up to his idols. He spots his brothers and helps them grow. Jeffrey's still asleep. It's almost the afternoon and time to break his fast. Adonis hunts down a boar by himself. Jeffrey's woken up after pressing snooze on his alarm three times. He stays in bed, grabs his phone, and proceeds to jack off. Adonis spends hours reading, learning, and contemplating, improving his mind. Jeffrey spends hours scrolling on social media, Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pornhub. Adonis leads his tribe forward, one step at a time. He looks amongst his tribe and he inspires them. Jeffrey's just gotten out of bed. He slogs over to his computer and loads up Discord and YouTube, where he proceeds to spend the next few hours. Adonis begins to unwind. The sun's about to come down. He's had a fantastic day. He sits around the campfire with his loved ones, looking up at the stars, telling stories to his child. Jeffrey spends the rest of the evening on his computer. He plays League of Legends and Minecraft and Valorant. Elden Ring, what the f is that, bro? Through all of this, Jeffrey keeps going back onto dating apps, just hoping for a crumb of pussy. Adonis gets to bed early, setting himself up for another fantastic day ahead. Jeffrey stays up late, overstimulating himself. What I've just described to you is Jeffrey vs Adonis. Pleasure vs purpose. Instant vs delayed gratification. You get the ability to choose multiple times a day. Most young men choose wrongly. Most young men choose to be like Jeffrey because it's easier. It's more comfortable to wake up late. It's more comfortable to lie wake up and then grab your phone and stay like that to me blows my fucking mind that people do this people wake up and don't get out of bed straight away that's like that's a real thing people wake up grab their phone and go through all the fucking notifications in the phone you do realize the moment that you look at your phone in the morning you've lost like 50 percent of your productivity why would you allow your brain to be polluted with all this fucking technology when you could go and build something great so many young men have given up their potential just because it's easier and it just feels better to fucking lay around around and jack off and watch movies and play video games and like be on tinder hoping to get some and those same men look up with envy and jealousy and hatred towards a man like Adonis because they see him living the dream and as much as Adonis could look down upon them, he wants to build them up. Adonis believes that these men can do better, that you don't have to succumb to the pressures of modern technology. Don't you expect better from yourself? When you make the choice to be more like Jeffrey, you get a momentary sense of pleasure. It feels good right now to eat some sweeties and to play some video games. The moment that that fun stops, the moment that you log out of the video game the moment that you swallow the f***ing sweetie all you're left with is the guilt all you're left with is this feeling of looking back at your younger self and thinking why the f*** did you just do that that chocolate bar was 250 calories do you know how long it takes to burn off 250 calories how was it worth it and imagine that on a grand level imagine for years you act like a jeffrey and it's only when you're 20 when you're 22 when you're 23 you look back and you think what the f*** did i just do with my life that's what the majority of young men are going through but it's not too late. You are now the enlightened one. You know about self-improvement. You know about instant and delayed gratification. You know about pleasure versus purpose. Jeffrey versus Adonis. Keep that in mind as you go about your day. The choices that you make are so damn important. And the consequences of your choices do catch up to you. When you're a young guy, you don't really think about this. And the consequences aren't that serious because you've only been doing the bad stuff for a couple of years. When you're in your 20s, you've been doing the bad stuff for like 10 years. Do not make your future self look back at you today with disappointment. Just just kind of like how we look back at our younger selves and think why the f do I have 10,000 hours on RuneScape? There's so much that you could accomplish and you already know the list of accomplishments that you want. And as much as we can talk about productivity and the five best business ideas and all this bullshit tactics that you want to watch on YouTube. The truth is everything that you want in life comes simply from choosing the right hand side. Everything that you want comes from choosing to delay gratification. Everything that you want comes from being more like Adonis and not like Jeffrey. You never wanted to play video games. You wanted a sense of status and importance and a sense of progression. You never wanted to watch porn. You wanted a sense of intimacy and love. Every time you choose the quick artificial version of the thing that you truly wanted, you dig that hole deeper and deeper. I hope that you're not so deep that you can't even look out anymore. But it's not too late. You start today to make the right choice. You start today to ask yourself, what would Adonis do? You start today doing the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. One by one, you don't need to completely overhaul your life, but one choice, then another, then another, progressively overload and become more like Adonis. You'll find that every part of your life will improve.
and that is a beautiful experience. Scroll down right now and click on the share button underneath this video. Send the link over to a Jeffrey friend who needs it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.